Well, these were the tributes from the two main party leaders. I think Tony Benn will be remembered as a champion of the powerless, as a conviction politician, as somebody of deep principle and integrity. The thing about Tony Benn is you always knew what he stood for and who he stood up for. I mean, I disagreed with most of what he said, but he was always engaging and interesting, and you were never bored when reading or listening to him. And uh, the country has lost a, a great campaigner, a great writer, uh, and someone who I'm sure whose words will uh, be followed keenly for many, many years to come. Well, our political correspondent Michael Crick has been to Bristol, where Tony Benn was an MP for 30 years. He's been asking local people for their memories and the political legacy Mr Benn will leave. Let us give America to the Americans, since they have had it for some time. <laughs> Let us confirm the verdict of history, Mr President, sir, and oppose this motion. The voice of socialism. Anthony Wedgwood Benn at the Oxford Union, two years before he became an MP at the age of just 25. And today, people came to pay tribute at Bristol City Hall. He would have the canvas sheets and the electorate and, and all the names on it. He didn't need that. He'd say, is Mrs. Hawkins still at 36, and Mrs. Jones at 28, etc. He'd go and knock the door. And not only did he know who they were, but he knew the names of their grandchildren and what they were doing. Tony Benn was a Bristol MP for almost a third of a century. First elected at a time when, quite frankly, many MPs neglected their seats. But Ben, in contrast, treasured the relationship with his constituents and always believed there was a lot more to politics than just Parliament. His work in Bristol helped Ben move leftwards to lead a socialist struggle many now think is history. The Union Unite here is based at Tony Ben House, which he himself opened not long ago, though the name doesn't always chime with young passers-by. What is the relevance of Tony Benn to people of your generation? To who, sorry, Tony? What, what is the relevance of Tony Benn to people of your generation? No, I can't tell if this is embarrassing, I don't know who he is, but I don't know who he is. I love Tony Benn, he was one of my political heroes, to be honest. A I hero? Saw him. Yeah, Why? absolutely. Um, with everything that he did throughout his career, um, he stood up for what he believed in, he was, you know, he kept going with his left-wing beliefs right up until being in his 80s, he didn't lose them as people do when they age. He stood for fairness, openness, the working man. Socialism? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Does Tony Benn mean much to you? Um, not really, I'm not, I'm not that up on politics if I'm completely honest. What about you? I'm afraid I wouldn't know either, I'm afraid. I mean, he was a, he was a great socialist, Tony Benn. Does, does socialism mean much to you? Only going out with my friends. Sorry? Socialising with my friends and things. The demise of socialism in Britain was the big failure of his life. Yet Tony Benn's name will live on for decades. A great irony for a man who said he hated personality politics. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Bristol.